This episode is part of our Australian India Pale Ale series. Today's beer is Deschutes Fresh Haze IPA from the USA. from Beer Australia Reviews and today we will be sampling, tasting and reviewing a beer imported from the USA. This one is called Deschutes Fresh Haze IPA. It's imported from Oregon which is on the west coast of the USA. This brewery was established as long ago as 1988 which is quite a long time ago for a, a microbrewery or a craft brewery. In 1988 the, the term craft beer hadn't even been um, coined at that point so um, it goes back quite a while. The brewery itself was established in, in a small town in Oregon, USA, a town called Bend, which is on the, the Deschutes River. Despite the fact that this is now more of a larger mainstream brand in the USA, they still retain their community spirit and their website talks about sustainability and the environment and also inclusivity of um, all of the local people. So they, they give back to the to their local community, which is very good. This is the first time I've had a beer that was from Oregon. I've had some East Coast USA beers, I've had some West Coast USA beers, but I think this is going to be the first time I've had an Oregon beer. The other thing about this one is um, it's in a pint can. For anybody um, who's more civilized and only uses metric, that's 568 milliliters. Let's have a read on the website. Soak up the, so the soft golden rays of an inviting malt body as lively hues and citrusy hops linger on the horizon of a cool, refreshing finish. Okay, now this one uh, is probably more of a tropical IPA because they go on to talk about mandarin orange, pineapple, mango. Here it goes. Light in colour, not as hazy as some, it is a little bit cloudy, dense but small foamy head, and I'm getting some aroma, so they definitely do have some tropical aromas in this one, let's give it a bit of a flourish. Oh, that looks really good. Now, I'm definitely getting some um, tropical aromas on this one, so I think their websites might be correct. So, orange, pineapple, mango. Oh, there's, there's definitely a, a sweet fruit aroma. Is that pineapple the overall? Oh, that's, that smells really good. There are tropical fruits inside this one. There is pineapple, but it's like a, a deeper, more malty sort of, a, um, sort of an aroma. Oh, th this smells really good. This is a, a multi-layer beer. It's still sweet, but a cr it's got a really sharp, tangy fizz across the tongue. And now that um, it's still lingering, the grapefruit is at the back. It's always grapefruit in this type of beer. But loads of aroma, bitterness now across both sides. So. Oh, the aroma on this one is exceptionally good. It, this is a nice beer. Quite a cooling taste as well. So the, the taste is not as strong as some. So it, it's definitely malty. It's still it's definitely got the extra um, malt that they put in to turn it from a, a pale ale into an India pale ale. Remember, the India pale ale needs to travel across the ocean. Uh, without spoiling so it has to be stronger in alcohol so therefore they add more sugar into the brew let more of the sugar um, ferment into the alcohol and you've got less chance of the beer spoiling while it's uh, on its trip from England to India I don't know where they get the hops from I don't know whether the hops would be grown locally in within Oregon because remember Oregon is a, a is a temperate region it's not the same as what we've got in Australia where everything is like a subtropical or a tropical uh, or a Mediterranean type of climate it. Oregon is definitely a temperate region so it's on the same it's not on the same latitudes um, exactly as the beer growing regions or the beer producing regions in Europe but the climate is similar which is where beer should be made so that's where um, the beers that we drink were developed you know, places like um, the United Kingdom obviously, Germany, Belgium, these are the sorts of places where this style of beer originated from. The fact it came from Oregon was gonna, it was always gonna be in its favour. They likely have water that comes down from the mountains as well, so the, the water is gonna be good, 
Uh, the climate is good, the ingredients are going to be good, and I think that's shown in the beer. I think this beer is living up to the hype on their website. So the the website um, has a, a lot of um, funny things on there, like the, um, what was it, uh, the horizon of cool, refreshing finish. That's that's the thing, It's it's got a coolness, it does hit you as it goes down. I don't think I'm getting mandarin, but I'm definitely getting pineapple, and there's definitely papaya in there. Maybe a hint of mango. Oh, a lot of business then in the um, uh, in the back. Now, I I don't know whether or not um, this is going to be typical of the beers from Oregon, um, but it definitely has a difference to the way the Australian uh, craft beers of this style taste. I think that's down to the water. I I think I'm going to prefer having water from this part of the world to the water in. Uh, in Australia, despite the fact that the, the new microbrewers in Australia are doing wonders with the water, what they produce the beer with, uh, it, it's so much better to have a craft beer where they've treated the water correctly than any of the mainstream Australian brands where they, I don't know what they do with the water, they just get it straight out of the dam and pour it in the bottle. This one has a cleaner taste. This one has um, less of a an, uh, less of a water taint on there. This shows that the quality of the water that they use to produce this beer is really high. First time I've ever tried a, a Deschutes um, brand beer um, from the town of Bend, Oregon on the Deschutes River. I don't know how many of them actually come all the way over to Australia, but if they, uh, Mr. Deschutes, if you've got any more of them, send them over, please, and I will give them a try, because uh, this is an exceptionally good beer. Um, you've done uh, wonders with um, getting this all the way from Oregon to Australia without it spoiling as well, so yeah, well done on that one. Oh, the, there are loads of tro uh, tropical aromas on this one. It's tropical fruit all the way through. It's tanginess on the tongue, it's bitterness across the sides, it's got everything that you want in a craft beer, this one, so, yeah. Thanks for watching.